If one local state representative gets his way, the Florida Constitution may be amended to legalize medical marijuana. Jeff Clemens of Lake Worth has submitted a bill once again that would allow voters to decide the controversial issue. As CBS 12's Ben Becker reports, for one local man, this is very personal. I was a smuggler back in the day in Miami. Robert Platshorn is a legend among people who want to legalize marijuana. He was part of the infamous Black Tuna Gang in the 1970s, a marijuana smuggling organization in Miami. The group was responsible for smuggling 500 tons of marijuana into the U.S. Robert spent nearly 30 years in prison. No acid, no pollution. Now he's bringing his message to seniors. Platshorn is holding what's called a silver tour meeting this Sunday at Golden Lakes Village in West Palm Beach. The tour is unique because it will teach seniors about why they should support legalizing marijuana. There are thousands of seniors in the legal states that are using it. Robert isn't the only one supporting a bill to legalize medical marijuana in Florida. Also, state rep Jeff Clemens of Lake Worth is as well. We just have a lot of people in pain, and why wouldn't we let them use something that, that helps alleviate that pain? The amendment of Lake Worth Representative Jeff Clemens would take effect on July 1, 2013, if the issue were passed by the voters. It states that a medical marijuana patient must have been diagnosed with a debilitating medical condition by two doctors and can't have more weed than presumed to be medically necessary. I think it's becoming more and more accepted in society. The problem is that both the Senate and the House have to pass the resolution by a three-fifth margin for the amendment to make it to the ballot. That may not be likely in the Republican-controlled legislature. Do you think it has a shot? Yes, I do, because of the senior population. Seniors in Florida will be watching. Ben Becker, CBS 12 News.